York is home to over 100 blue plaques, but one that has recently been unveiled has caused controversy among local residents. Lesbian should be on the plaque. If you define lesbian by a woman who loves women and is sexually attracted only to women, then Anne Lister was a lesbian, so it needs to be on the plaque. Um, secondly, she was her diaries need to be on the plaque because she was a brilliant diarist. But one woman in particular has decided to take action. Lesbian landowner, brilliant diarist, intrepid traveller. But in a modern day society, is gender non-confirming good enough? it's supposed to be an LGBT plaque and it was done by the Civic Trust to be an LGBT plaque. So then to avoid putting lesbian on the plaque, um, we just need uh, to put that right and put the wording right. That would be wonderful and lovely. And uh, actually we're talking at the LGBT forum at our next open meeting. We'll be discussing this. And Sue Lister is not alone. I feel it is a very nice plaque and it is great to have somebody so iconic like Anne Lister to be commemorated. Uh, public opinion is, has different views and we are listening to public opinion and we are engaging in a new consultation process and that may or may not result in the wording of the plaque being changed. York Civic Trust have said the phrase gender non-confirming was not intended to be read as a replacement for the word lesbian. However, we understand and accept that it has been read in this way. We recognise that this has hurt people and we apologise. We've heard the criticism and we're open to the idea of updating the plaque in the near future. Uh, respective meetings, there's lots and lots of correspondence going on behind the scenes and we are working towards being able to call a public consultation. While an online petition to add the word lesbian has already gained over 2,000 signatures, the destiny of the plaque is still undecided. Charlie Wainwright, That's TV.